Hey guys, so this is our fourth Space Invaders Thunkable tutorial. In this one, we are going to make the game actually end. Because at the moment, if you see where we're at, if you followed through the last three tutorials, you should be on the same page. You can shoot the aliens and they can come and get you, but nothing happens when they reach you. Also, nothing happens when um, you shoot them when you shoot them all either. Nothing ends up happening. There's no game ending at the moment. So we need to put that in. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do to work with the game ending is... And this is kind of just because I'm a little bit lazy. It's an alert. Now, if you wanted to, you could use a second screen for the end of the game, but I prefer to use alerts just because it's simpler to me. And it does the job without me having to make a second screen and design it and all that, and I'm a bit lazy. Okay, so I've just dragged an alert onto my screen. You can search the components for it, or it's just sort of there. Drag it onto your screen, and then you see that it appears as an invisible component down the bottom. I'm gonna rename this one I'm going to call alert game over. Now the title, I'm going to make game over. The message, I'm going to leave empty for the moment. Yeah, I'm going to leave it empty. And then I'm going to set my text to be, uh, I'm going to make it play again. I'm going to remove the cancel button as well, because there's nothing else I can do. So if you just leave the cancel button text empty, it doesn't actually make the second button there. So you only get the one button to press. It's very nice. Very happy with that. Cool. Game over. I'm going to fill in the message later, and the confirm button is going to be play again. Cool. Now, I'm going to use this alert whether I use it for they win or they lose. So that's why I'm going to fill in the message later, because game over works either way. Mm, works less good for if you're winning. We can change that to if you want. Play again works perfectly, whether you won or lost. The message is definitely going to be different. Okay, into our blocks. So let's decide on when the player should lose first. Now, there's sort of two conditions for the player losing. The first one is the aliens hit the bottom edge, so they get past the ship. The other one is if they hit the ship itself. So let's set those up. Now we'll go into our canvas blocks. Get when alien type collides with player type. When that happens, we are going to call our game over alert. Before we do that though, I'm also going to set the message. So set alert game over message to the aliens have won and then we're going to show that. Go cool. good. The other, the other way the player can lose is by the aliens reaching the bottom edge. So, alien type collides with bottom edge, and I'm going to duplicate both of those blocks and pop them in there. Cool. So, in both of those scenarios, the aliens have one. Very good. That's all we need for that for the moment. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure the player can win. Now, the way we're going to check that is we're going to check whenever a laser hits an alien, we're going to check if there are any more aliens, which is not going to be the worst thing in the world. I'm going to move this block just over to the side here so I can expand on it. So when a laser hits an alien, 
we need to check if there's any more aliens. There's some really neat blocks that can help us here. Now, this one here. Something is empty. A list is empty. This is actually a block that we can use as a condition. So we can say, with an if statement, if the list of aliens is empty, then we're going to end the game. So take this if uh, block here. In lists, we're going to take we're going to take some uh, list is empty, and then in add and remove, we're going to get all sprites in alien type. So that our full statement says, if our list of aliens is empty, then we're going to end the game. Cool. So similar to what we just did, we're going to set the game over alerts message to you saved earth from the aliens and then we are going to nope in game over alert we're going to show that block. That is kind of it. Let's test it out. So, firstly, I'm going to let this one get me, because that's going to be faster. The aliens have won. Play again. Okay. Play again doesn't work at the moment. We're going to need to do that. The other option is we wipe out all the aliens. We've saved the Earth from aliens. Play again. Again, play again does nothing. Cool. How to make play again work. Now, there's lots of different ways you could do it. You could have a function that specifically sets up more aliens on the screen. You could absolutely do that. And you could call that when the player wins. What you could also do, hopefully, I think you can. What I would like to see is resetting everything. And let's see if that works. I'm going to say when the alien collides with the player, navigate to screen one. Theoretically, that is going to refresh our screen. Theoretically. So I'm going to let the player hit me. And then... Play again. Okay. Not flawless. But that kind of works. Ah, I think I know why. Sometimes uh, the canvas keeps working in the background on this preview. I don't think it does in the actual app. So that is just something to keep in mind. Not flawless, works some of the time. So if you want to reset the game, that's an easy way to do it. A better way to do it is to make a function that sets up more aliens. So, you know how we just created a laser over there by saying, create a laser at the player's position. What you could do is you could create new aliens at the top of the game after they click um, restart. But that is totally up to you. I'm happy to let you guys do that. The one thing that I would suggest is making sure that you use a function. So then I can say, um, start new game. And then I can link that into each of these. Start new game, start new game, start new game. And then you only have to do it once. 
So just for an example, I'm going to create an alien at 100, 100 when I start a new game. And I'm also going to create one at uh, 200, 100. Life test that. I will clear all the aliens because that's faster. Play again. And then those are my aliens. You will see that there is something that I've forgotten. And it's this one here. When the canvas loads, for each item in the list, set the speed. So pop that down the bottom there. And I'm also going to remember. Hmm. Huh. Play again. Cool. There you go. That should all work now. Have fun with this. Take some creative license. Make your own stuff. Improve it. There's so many ways this can be improved. Let me know if there's anything you want a hand with or some tips on. Thanks. Have a good day.